Hey, welcome to X3. I'm your host, John C. Dvorak. I am the leader of the One Topic, Three Pundits movement. I'm here with Andrew Eisner and Joe Ingo, and we're going to talk about an article that appeared in the Apple Insider uh, discussing, uh, apparently, there's, a, and this is kind of interesting, uh, they're discussing who to replace Steve Jobs with when he retires. Hogwash. Hogwash? That's what Steve said. He says, he says the hogwash? Yeah, that's what he said when they asked him about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the funny thing is I was doing the DH Unplugged show with Andrew Horowitz. It's a stock market analysis thing we do once a week on Tuesdays. Check it out, DH Unplugged. Google it. Um, and he says this is the first time, according to the Market Insiders, that anytime there, 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 something like this would crop up in the news, the stock would like dump, dump down to, you know, 10% sure. just because anyone was, oh, they can't even talk about it. And now that they're not only talking about it, but the stock not only didn't go down, it went up because, of course, earnings were terrific for Apple. And so, but it went up and it went up with like, they don't, it seems that, that now the market is care, they don't care. No. It, and I think it's gotten to the point where they don't. No. I don't well, I think, I think that if, when Steve Jobs is no longer part of Apple, I think you're going to see the stock plummet pretty soon. I would play. think it was going to go down, but I, there's the thinking now is well, it might this, not. Well, this has been going on for a long time. This is not anything new, but I think that when he officially leaves Apple, well, for whatever he, reason, yeah, he but dies they've got so or he much down. momentum now. I mean, hard to stop. In fact, well, I think, by the way, by the way, let me just yeah. put on the record that once he's gone, the company will decline. I agree with it you. It will yeah. decline yeah. severely. Yeah. yeah. The visionary will be gone. Yeah, but, but I mean, Tim Cook could run. You know, the daily operations. No, I think it's like the, it's like the Queen Mary. It's not going down anytime soon. Yeah, yeah. but uh, five, give it four years. What are you saying? It's too big to fail. It's too big to <laughs> fail. Yeah. But the interesting thing that came out of the earnings report too was I think somebody calculated that uh, most of their revenues now, like seventy percent, is coming from iPads and iPhones. And, yeah. Uh, so forget about computers anymore. I mean, they've totally switched to this consumer electronics company. Well, so let's say that's hogwash or not. Uh, yeah, wash hog. Are there, uh, yeah. wh wh who would be a candidate? Supposedly they've hired a headhunter. The board has hired a headhunter to look for someone. Who could, tell, who could, could run I, this? I, it's got to be somebody within Apple. They can't bring in an outsider. There's just no way. Gil Emilio. <laughs> Gil Emilio. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, I, a lot of these companies, I, I don't, you know, even though I remember years ago in the 80s, there used to be an adage that, uh, and it was about, it's just, the adage surrounded Wang, the company that used to have the word processors, sure. a very big computer oh, yeah. company at one time. The, there was an adage that said nobody can run, no one man, uh, especially if he came up through the ranks or somebody like Steve Jobs or even right. Bill Gates, can run a billion dollar company. Mm. It can't be done. <laughs> uh, and that was like, and so these companies, yeah. once they get to a billion bucks, everyone got real skittish. Of course, now we're talking about multi tens, yeah. hundred billion dollar companies, and these guys are being run by these guys who are just, you yeah. know, micromanagers. I mean, it's amazing to me. Yeah. So, so things have changed. But I think what it's done, if you get a company that big with a micromanager running it and a visionary who calls the shots on everything, like, this type font is no good, yeah. you know, and he's right. Sure. Yeah. Damn, got a prayer without the yeah. guy. So yeah. who do you think? I mean, I. I, uh, I don't think it's Jean Louis Gasset. Bring back Jean Louis. I, I mean, they've got the only candidate I could think of would be Tim Cook, but he's just. I mean, he could keep it. Well, that's surviving. the obvious one. He can keep it going. But, but, yeah, he can keep it surviving for a little bit, but he yeah. can't. New products. He's gonna have a really tough challenge. Yeah. Huh. I mean, he could keep it going yeah. for maybe five years, but after that, there's not going to be anything yeah. new. It's just going to be the same old iPhone five, six, seven, I twelve. Should, I think they should go on some take a long, take a take a lark, do a long shot. Uh, yeah. Mike Arrington. <laughs> I think they should bring him <laughs> in and let him run. You know, you never know. Yeah, well, I'm such an Apple know. fanboy. How about I go? Well, you could go. There Joe Ingo, yeah, the next CEO. Yeah, you right. kind of look like the lottery. A, you already <laughs> look like a CEO. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That'll be that. You've been watching X3.